Before we start this lesson, one should understand first about the levels of organization in the human body. The human body is composed of several complex units that work as one. Atoms of element group together to form molecules, and so molecules are grouped together to form a cell. The smallest living unit of the body is called the cell. Billions of cells, all of them specializing in certain functions, make up the body. A group of similar cells with similar functions is called a tissue. Tissues with specific function form an organ. Organs are grouped together into systems. These systems depend on each other to work together in the body of an organism. And so the human body is made up of different body systems that works together. The integumentary system. Integumentary system is the body covering. It is composed of the skin and other accessory structures like the hair, nails, sweat glands, and oil glands. What are the functions of the integumentary system in your body? The functions of the integumentary system are to protect the organs inside the body from injury and infection. It also helps the body maintain homeostasis, which means it functions for regulation of temperature, retention of body fluids, and elimination of waste. The skin. Your body is covered with skin. The skin is the largest and the most visible organ of your body. Its main function is to protect the organs inside the body. The skin proper is composed of two main layers. The outer layer is called epidermis, an inner layer or dermis, which is thicker subcutaneous region made up of fatty tissues. Hair. Hair is a special structure of the skin. It is formed by epidermal cells that line a pocket called follicle, which lies deep within the dermis. Hair is made up of keratin. The outside layer of the hair and the skin are both composed of transparent keratin, keratin cells. Hair grows from the hair root within the hair follicle embedded in the skin. The hair extends through the epidermis and protrudes from the skin. Most of the hair is dead and are keratinized. The only living part of the hair is at the bottom part, which is the hair bulb. The hair in the nose and ears filter dust particles. Eyebrows deflect sweat to protect the eyes. Facial hair reduces the skin exposure to UV rays. Hair and scalp protect the head and the skull from abrasion. Different types of melanin determine the color of the hair. The more melanin, the darker is the color of the hair. Have you ever wondered why old people tend to have gray and white hair? It is because as one grows older, less and less melanin is produced. The nails. The hard part of the nail is made up of skin tissue. The nail grows from the epidermal cells below it. The skin around the nails form a hardened margin called the cuticle. Fingernails and two nails 
protect the distal part of your fingers and toes. Nails are also made up of keratin. Fingernails grow on average of 3 mm in a month, whereas two nails grow slower on average of 1 mm in a month. Diet and overall health of the person among many other factors affect the growth of the nails. Nails protect the sensitive fingertips and toes from injury. They also help in sensing the environment. Under the nails are nerve, nerve endings that function in the sense of touch. The glands. Glands release substance through the pores. The main glands of the skin are the sweat glands and the oil glands. Sweat glands help in the excretion of waste by releasing the excess water and salt producing by the body. Sweat glands also function in the regulation of the body temperature. If the body temperature becomes higher due to physical activity or the weather, the sweat glands release sweat which causes the body as it evaporates. Oil glands also called sebaceous glands secret an oily substance called sebum. sebum lubricates and waterproofs the, wa the surface of the skin and hair. Too much production of sebum may clog the pores and produce microorganisms that may lead to infection. This may result to pimples. The skin is the outermost layer of the human body. You must therefore take care of your skin in order to look healthy and vibrant at all times. Observing proper hygiene is very important. Take a bath regularly in order to remove the germs and dirt in the body. Sunlight is good for the health. It activates the vitamin D in the body. However, too much exposure to the sun can be harmful. It may lead to sunburn which can cause skin cancer. The sun also causes photoaging which result in dark skin spots and wrinkles. You should wear protective clothing or apply a sunscreen when you are out in the sun, especially for a long time. The skin also needs the necessary nutrients so that it can do its functions well. Fruits and green leafy vegetables are excellent sources of nutrients for healthy skin and hair. Drinking lots of water and other liquid is also very important to keep the skin from drying. Thank you for watching and please subscribe for more videos update. Thank you.